started the Euro Art Program. Which was a very sort of progressive idea. Yeah. It was a, a, yeah. about really trying to bring together people who lived in rural areas yeah. and in the city, right? Right. Yeah. <coughs> and you At first, I, they didn't think that I would be able to get in that uh, show because one of he was almost part of Mance. I should be further away, I guess. <laughs> but when he saw my work, then I got it in the show thing, in the rural art. And did that program have a lot to do with the development of your work? Oh, yeah, because they bought my work. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else did. <laughs> that was your lifeline. It was, yeah. That's why I painted like mad. <laughs> Make 200 bucks, yeah. <laughs> And what was Curry like? Was he was he difficult, demanding? Well, he was a very pleasant man. He had quite a sense of humor. Yeah, I know I went to this one salon show and they put up one of my pictures and not the other one, and Curry came along and I was with Gabber and my mother and and he said, Well here at the show, and I said, yeah, they only put one of my pictures in, my little dirty dog. <laughs> Did you ever have an opportunity to meet either Thomas Hart Benton or Grant No, Glenn? I saw him in, in Alfred Sessler's class. I was in Alfred Sessler's class, and Benton was in there, but I, I didn't want to go over there. You know, it was kind of corny, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, if you're a student, there the other student, you probably think, well, look at her, you know. <laughs> you wish you had. I wish I had that, I mean, you know. The amazing trilogy of artists. Now, you, you were in school for a couple of years at the University of Wisconsin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I went to New York. You went to New York, so you need to tell me about that decision because it's a, it's a big change, obviously. I mean, people sometimes confuse Wanaki and New York City. <laughs> different. It's a little different. No subway. Exactly. No subway. Oh. Dirty. I had to wash off my clothes every night. From the subways. But you were enrolled at the rather famous Art Students League. Oh no. I I told, I got into a realist, I wanted a realist, you know, a teacher that taught realism. So I got the Frank Dumont's class, but I did the old man's head with the beard. I guess it's not the show here. But anyway, uh, I worked a whole week on that particular face. He was up on a platform. And um, here I found out Frank Dumont wasn't even living. The class was running without him. <laughs> <laughs> so I did a job on that face. Yeah. Now, now you had one painting in 